All right, hi everyone. So in a classic Aaron move, I completely forgot to hit the record button um, during the actual tutorial that we had uh, just a few days ago. So I'm just gonna be doing a quick overview of our the slides that we went over. And uh, although we won't be able to have the part where uh, you know the officers go around and, and help everyone out with the stuff, um, if you need any help, I'm free to, I'm open to DM. So um, with that, we'll just get started. So hi everyone and welcome to our very first special topics track uh, tutorial. Uh, today, we're just gonna be going over a quick, uh, a quick intro over uh, what special topics is all about and also um, help you get started on one of the first, uh, or on our, I guess our, our first uh, Unity project that you'll be using throughout the entire tutorial series. So, oh, that's a little awkward. Forgot to hook it up to the presentation. Okay. Um, so the quick overview, uh, special topics is basically all about uh, learning about game development by making games and making a lot of them, making a lot of small games. Um, and so uh, you might be wondering, well, this sounds a lot like the intro track, right? In intro track, we um, also teach you how to make games by making games. Um, but this is a little different in that um, we're kind of focused on a kind of a project-based approach where you get to really choose uh, what you want to work on, and then we'll try to help you through it along the way, as opposed to sort of a more structured, uh, you know, like course-based approach where everyone has the same project, you, you follow step-by-step, -step, that sort of thing. So hopefully, um, if you guys are really interested in doing, um, if you guys are more hands-on, that's your type of learning, then hopefully this, this will be a lot more interesting for you guys. So... What we're going to co cover for this uh, special topics track, uh, we're going to be covering uh, physics and planetary gravity taught by Henry and Cole. That's going to be next week. Uh, for the week after that, we're going to be uh, jumping in with Jin, who's going to be showing you guys how to make a roguelike, a basic roguelike, so something like Hades, like you see on the screen. Um, and then after that, in week six, uh, I'm going to be giving my own tutorial on uh, Unity's new UI system. Uh, where we'll be doing sort of like a little uh, UI sort of uh, panel-based game that uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy. And then for week seven, finally, Austin's going to wrap it, wrap everything up with uh, a tutorial on rhythm games. And so just a reminder, each of these tutorials is going to be uh, basically like um, its own little project. So every week you come in, you're going to be able to work on a new, new topic, new genre, and uh, hopefully by the end of it, You'll be you'll have good exposure to um, a bunch of different areas and uh, figure out what you guys uh, find interesting in game dev. Um, and also, uh, one thing that I didn't put here was that uh, we're doing a, a collab with uh, ACM AI. That's week eight, and I believe Henry Ming and Faustine are going to be handling that. Um, so I, I think uh, right now a lot of the details are a little TBD, um, but we'll be sure to let you guys know soon. So. Uh, where do we even start with all of this, right? I, I talked about how we're going to be uh, basically uh, building a lot of projects throughout this whole thing, right? But, I, you know, if you've never worked with Unity before or, uh, you know, uh, you don't have everything set up already, it can be a little confusing, like, what, <laughs> how are we going to do all this? And so the solution that we came up with was to have basically one base project that you can add all of your work to throughout the entire course of the special topics track uh, tutorial series. So the space project we're calling Studio Land. And from this picture, you can kind of see it's like a little, uh, you know, little uh, 3D world uh, filled up with arcade machines that you guys can connect up to your games um, once you once you build them. So it's almost like, so you can see on the screen, right? A lot, all of them are out of order right now. You have a bunch of empty arcade machines, but by the time you guys start making your games, you can start linking them to the arcade machines and, and play them in this game. So it's it's almost like a little hub for all of the things that you guys do in this uh, um, in this tutorial series. So this is this is something new we're trying out. And so if you guys have any feedback on how this works throughout, just please let us know. Um, uh, this is all experimental. So to get started with this. Um, and once again, don't worry if you if what I said didn't really make sense, um, especially if you're just starting out with Unity. Um, the whole point of this is to get you familiar. The whole point of this first first day is to get you familiar with Unity um, uh, by simply getting this project to run, right? So our task for today is 
you know, very simple. All you need to do is get Studio Land up and running on your computer and um, and make sure um, everything's working fine. In, in person, we, we would have been going around making sure everyone's uh, not running into difficulties. So I apologize, but we can't do that here. Um, but once again, feel free to, to uh, uh, ping us in Discord. Um, and once again, the officers in our in our track are Austin, Cole, Henry, Jin, and we also, um, I guess you can, we have Yoon and Caleb if Caleb's okay with that. Um, and so you can you can message any of us on Discord, and um, we'll be more than happy to to help you guys out. So I've, I've listed here uh, a bunch of, or just sort of some some little points for how to get started here. Um, the whole point of this is just, uh, especially this is mainly if like you're new to Unity and you haven't set up a project before, it's supposed to be sort of like a little challenge. Um, but so the first thing uh, that goes into, you know, starting out with a new project is you have to find out where its source code is on the web. Um, that's called the repo or the repository. And once you find it, I've included like a little link right there. Um, you can get to the actual special topics track repo through that link. Once you get there, all you need to do is find a way to clone it. And what cloning means is you just uh, get basically a copy of what's online and you bring it onto your local computer. Um, so figure out how to do that. Um, probably use something like GitHub Desktop, or if you're really cool, you're going to use the command line and use Git. Um, and then uh, after you have the project cloned, all that set up, um, you can go ahead and uh, try to open the project. And this is the part that usually takes a long time because, you know, um, uh, you're probably going to have to have the right Unity and version installed. And if you don't have the install, it might take a little while. Um, so, uh, yeah, this, this may be a lengthy step and you don't have to pay attention the whole time. But um, you're probably going to have to use something like Unity Hub. I mean, it is Unity Hub. And then uh, locate the project file or the project folder uh, for Studio Land, right? So... The hint is it's you're not supposed to open the actual thing that you like the, the main top level folder you, you clone from GitHub. Um, it's going to be actually one of the subfolders. Uh, and then finally, just to top it all off, try to figure out where the play button is in the Unity editor once you open it up. Um, and then if you can start hearing music, you can control your little guy around. That's all we want. And uh, you should be set up for the rest of the tutorial series. Well, one thing to note here is that um, for uh, uh, the play mode stuff, we did real we did realize uh, kind of during the tutorial that we had that um, for some reason uh, one of the bug fixes that we made didn't get pushed, and uh, some people were getting errors when they hit play. Um, and so the way to resolve those errors, and you'll notice if you haven't used the Unity editor before, basically an error will just look like some red text that you'll see in the bottom in the console window. Um, and it will prevent you from playing the game. I think it should, at least. Um, and so what you have to do is uh, go to uh, Unity. And actually, let me, let, me, let me show you guys real quick. So uh, hold on, I'll be, I'll be right back. OK, so this is what I think it sort of looked like. I kind of recreated it here. Um, but basically, some people were having issues when you clone in uh, there's this scripts folder here that's causing these red errors on the bottom in the console window. And so once again, this is this is completely on us, uh, in particular my fault. I, I, I guess I forgot to push one of these bug changes, but all you have to do is highlight script scripts. And, and remember, this is in the assets folder, so it's in sort of the upper level area. All you have to do is just press delete and then uh, wait for it to recompile. And then you should be able to once it finishes re recompiling. Yeah, you should get no errors. You, you might get some like weird uh, you know, warnings over here, which are yellow, but those those let you play game. So I'm not going to give away how you how you click play. I mean, <laughs> that's part of the challenge, I guess. Um, and so uh, that's that's all I wanted to point out. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little short little tutorial if you've never worked with Unity before. And for those of you who have, um, thank you for bearing with us through this first tutorial, um, and we'll get started on the material uh, next week. So thank you guys.